It does not matter. Whether it's direct or indirect, I will win. Because I'm on ground and we know what we've done. We know the amount of work we've done for our people in Edo State. So that's not the issue. I think for us, the issue is doing things properly, following the rules, following the laid down constitu the constitution of the party. We, we have always canvassed for peace. And you ask, what are the issues in Edo? And what are the issues that cannot be resolved in a democracy? I mean, the, as far as I'm concerned, we've said, look, let us use the resources of the people to develop the state. A few people say, no, we are in power, or we are the power brokers. We should, these resources should, we, you know, we, we should be given priority because we're in charge. And so there's a, an ideological difference. And it shouldn't lead to bloodshed. Let's have a proper process and go and test these views out. You know, we will not accept to be cowed and intimidated because, you know, people feel that like they can manipulate the rules, they can manipulate uh, the, 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 the process. For us, the issues are very straightforward. What's the quarrel about? What's the, what's the division about? Let's test it in the public space. That's all we're saying. And that's well, your why it isn't it the same resources that were used to bring you to power? No, but I do know the resources were used to bring me to power. I worked for eight years behind the scene to create what we had in Edo State before I became governor. I had I have personal resources that I spent and deployed. I have friends with resources in this country. So all that insinuation about using, you know, somebody's resources, you know, and having become governor was the idea for me to continue to do things in the old way or make progress. I thought that's the mantra of our party, you know, so yes, I became governor on a platform of a party. I'm grateful for it. And, you know, I was helped, assisted, just like everybody else who's been able to get to power has been assisted, but have been in power. What do you now do with it? Do you serve a limited interest or do you serve the general good? So, do you, are you insisting on getting this at all costs, the tickets, uh, contesting for the primaries? And if that doesn't work, what would you do? I don't know how to, about all costs. I just believe that we have a president, we have a country who believes in the rule of law and will allow things to be done properly, fairly, transparently, and openly. You know, it's when you not short secure, you, 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 you short secure the process, you manipulate a process, then we'll deal with the consequences of it, which is really unfortunate in the development and evolution of our democracy. I am not a violent person, never have been, you know, I've never been, um, but I'm just confident, you see, because the way I got into power that same way, I'm sure I'll retain power. Somebody brought me into power. Somebody gave me power. And it's God that gave me power. And as long as he's you know, alive and he wants me to continue, I will. No man, I mean, no man can stop me. Power comes from God.